Well, you can see there's a nice bit of snow in places. And I'll just come back to get the gun out. I uh, said so I come out now for an evening uh, par uh, paragon hunt. Uh, I didn't really want to go hunting today, but we got some weather coming. Well, tomorrow's Sunday and we got weather coming. So if I don't get out and get a few more birds now, uh, uh, maybe a while from there before I get a chance again. So I said I'll come out and just take advantage of a bit of time. I got not an ideal day. It's a little bit of wind blowing and all that, but but hopefully, uh, hopefully get a few. And actually, I just see my first one over right there. And that little bank over there. And I just come back, get the gun out, and I sunk down in the snow. And this is an area where I killed that porcupine there a few years ago. But anyway, let's get the gun and go over and see if we get our first primigan for today. Yep, it's just the just the one there. But one is good, you know. Now pick he off, and we'll move on. Tomorrow is Sunday, and we always have a, a cooked dinner on Sunday. Can anyone uh, guess on what we're going to have? And let's do the happy dance. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, things happen really fast sometimes. I popped up over the bank, and there was three there. And it was two lined up, and I got two of them to one shot. So I didn't want to chance it. Uh, you know, you get two to one shot, you save a bullet. Yeah, you know where the, the top of the snow now is kind of crusty and uh, the birds could walk fast now not like when it's deeper snow and you know they could uh, make a lot of signs so they got a fairly big area covered here uh i circle around there a little bit i still never seen near one in this spot but i'm gonna go on it through and if i don't see nothing on the way back i'll have a look here again but uh definitely birds here nice bit of sign uh, they came up on the top part of the hills or, you know, could have moved down here for now, but they might come back again later on once. Now, I, uh, I never got in this far yesterday. I'll tell you, <laughs> there's a lot of ground here to hunt. I won't cover it all the day, that's for sure. We'll have a little look around. Hopefully we'll come across a few. You know, it's just fun you exploring too, you know, but uh, hope you get a little few birds. Make double digits today, that'll be really good. Yeah, lots of tracks on over around there and on up through this little gulch. So I'm gonna swing on up around here and probably come back inside the hill there. It's uh, not super fresh, but early this morning here sometime. somewhere yeah, look at this I was coming across to pick them two up there's another one right there another one Floyd went a long ways that way I shot down one, two more Floyd that way, but I see a different one over there. So there's a nice little uh, fresh sign around there, so there could be a scattered part which scattered around this area. So I'm gonna pick this one off. Oh, yeah, seen there? And a little bank there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one back there, too, I think. One right there, another one over right there, another one up right there, and two more went that way. So those three there makes ten. Yeah, double digits is good. Yeah. Walked up this way. Time we get two of them to one shot there, but it didn't work out, and then three more run up that way. Two more just went that way a little bit, and I looked over here. Oh, there's another one right there. So I'm gonna pick these off and let them quieten down a bit. 
you know, you'll get them a lot quicker uh, once they're quitting down. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a lot easier to pick just after you shoot them too. So, so I'm gonna pick these off and if he flies, he flies, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one makes 11. Uh, when I was picking another tree over right there, this one here was uh, down there and I was watching it. He was walking on up on his bank here. And so I walked across and shot him. So I come on over and picked him and uh, two more gone up that way. So, so yeah, look at that, number 11. All right, I crippled one here. You can see the blood trail on over that way. So I got to track you down. And there he is right there. Now I can't fire in from this angle. I got to walk back. Yeah, getting kind of sinky now. Softened up a bit. And I got uh, two here, so uh, uh, 13 there now. So that makes 13. Yeah. Now, continue hunting on over that way, I guess. Small wood burl there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that off every once in a while. It cuts off a piece like that and just puts it in my shed. <laughs> Line's not too rotten to fall apart. There's a lot of sign on up through there. Some old and some really fresh. And up that way and back out that way. But I uh, I never seen their partridge in this uh, area yet though. But uh, sometimes, you know, if you uh, just stop and listen, <laughs> you know, they drop the screw and listen. And sometimes you can hear them calling on that. Uh, even though, you know, I never heard any, I almost thought I heard something that way, but I'm not really sure. But, but sometimes, you know, just, just stop and listen and, and you'll hear them. Yeah, a little more snow right here. And look at that, that's number 14. And looks like the tracks of another one gone down that way. So, so number 15 might be just over right there. Number 15 slid on down there somewhere. I'm gonna have the, the look for in there now. And I'll just look them out. Real old porcupine cotton right, right there. It's closed now anyway, but but see one get some nice footage I guess. Yeah. There you go. There he is. Number 15, you know, when I went hunting, I said, if I got 10, be good, but really in my mind, I said, if I got 16, 24 yesterday, and if I can get one more, well, that'd be 40, 40 uh, in two days. some uh, parmigan for our dinner tomorrow I'm just going to show this uh, this is why they're up on the hills uh, the ground is opened up and now they can feed off the partridge berries lingon berries and uh, I find you know when they get eaten the berries you know the, it goes through the flavor of the bird a bit and they're not as good so you know you, if you're getting any partridges for the summer you better get them now because the more berries to eat to me the worse flavor the bird is going to be Yeah, not a lot of snow down yet, but it's blowing a bit. Uh, it's drifting. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be a very good day you'd hunt in this for sure. But you know, after uh, you have a, a good hunt, it takes a while to put away uh, your game anyway. So today I'm going to clean up the purposes that I got and vacuum pack them. Well guys, uh, got them all cleaned up there now and I'm going to vacuum pack a few for long term storage. And I tell you, they'll last a very long time like this. Yep, so I'm going to 
if I can pack them and put them in a box so they don't, don't be you know moved around too much and I'm telling you like I said they'll, they'll, they'll last very very long like this so but I guess that's it for this video though guys I really appreciate y'all watching take care all the best from the big land